Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. FL 2025 has added deverberation as an option now. I have here a series of dialogue recordings in a church uh, in various rooms of the church that all have different verbs on them. So for example, this one's in the basketball court. They're all saying the same thing. I'm just reading off basically a small script and you can hear the verb. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. So what we're going to do is if you click, there is now a deverb option right here. And when you click it, you can choose general or voice. I'm going to go with voice. It's, it's a voice. We'll hit OK. It's going to analyze it. Here's the original. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James. Here is the process. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. It sounds like I'm closer to, like, it sounds really good. Let's try another one. Here's a particularly bad one in a small hallway. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Oh yeah, it's pretty terrible. Let's go ahead and see if this can even be saved. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. This was the original. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. I mean, that's a huge improvement. This last one is essentially in a box, like a wooden box. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. We will see. We will see. Can it do it? Let's find out. All right, let's hear it. This is all processed. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Yeah, a little bit more phasey if you pull this back. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James... Basketball has come a long way since... Basketball has come a long way. Let's go ahead and bring it out fully processed so we can hear the gain on it proper. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game. Versus. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith. This one, I think I'd take it or leave it. Basketball has come a long these, these are tricky to do because you, with such short reverb times, the early reflections are extremely strong and it's more like comb filtering than it is verb so this is a little unfair to the algorithm but it is interesting to know um and you'll get a mix of verb in this issue if you record in spaces like a hallway um and so we, we saw earlier what this can do basketball has come a long way and those basketball of, has come a long way since dr james Na what they what it could do in those sorts of situations so it can do it but when you run into like extreme cases you see, you begin to run into a little bit more of a phasey issue and mixing it may be the better choice, like halfway, half processed. Basketball has come a long way. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. Because you get these like drops in volume that sound a little unnatural versus something like this up here, which is like just, you know, you just didn't like the verb of the room. Basketball has come a long way. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith so that's the deverb option. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more power, there is Edison. In Edison, if you go into Tools, Spectral, there's the ability to get rid of noise. And if you have a recording of just noise, this can do extremely well, um, sometimes better than some of the AI denoising things. It just does a great job. And then the deverb is in here, as well as a few other features. So this could be pretty great for signal restoration if you're looking for some additional things to try that might give you the result you're looking for. Let me know what you think of these results down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.